Hey everyone, I'm Irene. Uh, my pronouns are she, her. Yeah, I know I have big they energy. <laughs> I know I can see this as well. Uh, yeah, everyone assumes that I'm non-binary, which is why I'm not. So <laughs> yeah, I gotta fight back somehow, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I probably am. <laughs> I'm just being stubborn at this point. <laughs> I just feel like if I still identify as a girl, I'm like a cool girl, you know? Like I'm a lesbian who skateboards, that's cool. Yeah, otherwise I'm just a really boring non-binary person. <laughs> okay, like my hair's one color, I don't have any tattoos or piercings, and I think monogamy is okay. <laughs> it's not a good look for the brand, all right? <laughs> they don't want me, come on. <laughs> also, I don't think I could ever come out to my parents as non-binary. They're immigrants. Yeah, they came to this country with no money. I can't come out to them as having no gender. <laughs> I would be disowned, okay? <laughs> They'd be like, we don't care. Just pick one. <laughs> yeah, be a girl, be a boy. Honestly, we would prefer boy. <laughs> Still counts, you know? <laughs> that way we can brag to our friends, right? <laughs> yeah, like our son is a comedian. <laughs> I don't know, still better than our daughter's a doctor, you know? <laughs> okay, some of us got sad uh, about a joke that doesn't affect us at all, okay. Don't worry guys, I made it up, okay? <laughs> yeah, I don't even talk to my dad, so. <laughs> no, I'm doing pretty good. I started dating somebody recently and she's a musician, which is cool and she wrote a song about me and I thought that was very nice. And I'm like, okay, I wanna do something nice for you, uh, but I'm a comedian. <laughs> so, you know, it's not really the same thing, right? Cause she wrote the song and she's like, every time I look at you, it's like I'm staring at the sun and it makes me wanna cry, you know, really nice, right? And then I'm like, uh, sometimes <laughs> when you lay down, <laughs> Your boobs are kind of weird. So, <laughs> not really the same vibe there. But mine is true. So, <laughs> sorry, I can't lie, you know? <laughs> Look, I just didn't know that white girls have pink nipples. <laughs> Did you guys know that? Uh, <laughs> like, I didn't know there were different varieties of nipple. Okay, because I thought they all looked like tiny brown sausages. <laughs> yeah, but apparently they also come in vegan. <laughs> and they don't taste as good, you know? Like, if you've had the real thing, you can tell the difference. <laughs> but don't worry, okay, the technology's very good right now. Okay, they're making an impossible nipple. <laughs> and it's so close, you know? Yeah, like if you bite into it, it bleeds. Like it's very <laughs> realistic. <laughs> I will say though, boobs, cool, yeah. right? Yeah. Doesn't matter what your sexual orientation is, everyone loves boobs. Yeah, like if a boob pops out in the wild, we're like, ooh, fun, you know? Like, <laughs> That's what we do as a society. <laughs> and my favorite part about boobs is that they're all different. You know, they come in different shapes and sizes. Like no two boobs are the same. They're like snowflakes. Yeah, they all melt in your mouth. <laughs> but I dated this girl one time and she had boobs that were uh, so far apart on her chest. Like, you know when you have two magnets that are the same pole <laughs> and you push them together and they repel? <laughs> That's what was happening, okay? Yeah, and her nipples would point in opposite directions 
and that's why I felt like I couldn't trust her. <laughs> right, because her eyes were looking at me, <laughs> but her nipples were not. So I'm like, what's going on here? Are you lying to me? <laughs> Look me in the eye, all four of them, all right? <laughs> But I don't know, ladies, I feel like we lucked out with boobs. We got the fun, cool body part that everyone loves. And then men, you guys have, what? Uh, <laughs> balls? Yeah, and they're all ugly, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, but no man has hot balls. <laughs> right, like, it, they get sweaty and gross. Uh, but they're not attractive. No guy in here is gonna stand up, raise his hand, and be like, no, 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 I've got hot balls. Like, no, that guy's a fucking creep. And I will admit, um, I've not seen balls like up close in person. <laughs> I'm very gay. Uh, like I saw one from afar on accident during a play one time. And I was like, uh-oh, you know. That's not for me. And I've seen pictures, you know, and they look bad. <laughs> but could be one of those things where they just don't photograph well, you know? They look better in person, they're shy, they don't know their angles, you know? Like, I don't know, could be that. And I don't want to be like, oh, like, women have boobs, men have balls, whatever. Like, some people have different body parts. For instance, I've never wanted to have boobs, okay? That's not part of the look that I'm going for, you know? Like, I want to shop at the Gap more. <laughs> and I can't do that right now. And some of my friends are getting top surgery, that's where you get rid of your boobs, and I would love to do it, but it's like way too popular right now. <laughs> so I can't, I gotta wait a few years on that. But it's kind of a new thing, because when I was growing up, nobody was getting top surgery. You had to have breast cancer to get rid of your boobs. So every day in fourth grade, I hoped and prayed that I would get like a little bit <laughs> of BC, you know? Just like a dollop, you know? One in each boob. They catch it with plenty of time. Like I walk into the doctor's office, he's like, I don't know why you're here for a mammogram. You're 10 years old. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know, doc. Uh, I just have a feeling that you have to cut off these tiny nipples. And he's like, okay, well, uh, weirdly enough, you do have to get a double mastectomy. And I'm like, oh my God can't believe that this is covered by insurance, you know? <laughs> That's incredible. That's all I wanted was free top surgery. <laughs> but now you could just do it, you know? Like, if you have enough money or start a GoFundMe, <laughs> you can just do it. Yeah, and honestly, kind of pisses me off, okay? Because I feel like it's too easy for these kids these days. And that's how I know I got old as I said that sentence out loud. <laughs> Like I woke up one morning and I was like, these fucking Gen Z kids can just love themselves. <laughs> yeah, they can just look exactly how they want to look without shame or fear. Fuck these kids, you know? <laughs> like I turned 30 and got weirdly more conservative. <laughs> yeah, like right now I feel like I'm an old white man in a young Asian lesbian's body, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure is a porn category. <laughs> Yeah, I think I saw that on Pornhub. But I think that's what happens. I think when you get older, sometimes you get weirdly more conservative. And that's because you just get jealous of what kids can do that you couldn't do. That's the whole process of getting older. I think that's what the gay marriage debate was about. Just a bunch of old guys sitting in a room, like, we can't let the gays get married. Cause I wanted to get gay married. <laughs> now I got a wife and two kids, so fuck these gays, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a good person yet. Um, like I realized I didn't go to any of the protests in 2020, like the Black Lives Matter protests. Uh, and not cause I didn't support it. It's just that no one invited me. Uh, like all my friends went without me. Like I wasn't on the protest text chain, right? And I'm like, I would have gone if it was cloudy, you know, like <laughs> invite me. And yeah, I could have looked it up, but I didn't want to go by myself like a fucking loser, you know? So I just stayed at home with my grandma. Uh, and that was the other reason I didn't go, because I was living with my grandparents at the time, and COVID was still happening, and we didn't know how it worked, and I didn't want to accidentally get COVID at a protest, 
bring it home, and kill my grandparents. Yeah, so I had to decide what was more important to me. Not killing my grandma or fighting police brutality. And I went with not killing my grandma. And that still weighs on me. Because <laughs> she's racist. So I feel like I should have gone and killed two birds with one stone, you know? Am I really an ally? I don't know. All right, thank you guys so much. I've been Irene too.